So Mvula has just bumped into our hyena. So the hyena is just here in front of us and Mvula just to the right. And he's busy watching this hyena very carefully. Now, I think this hyena has heard us moving around in the bush and knows that potentially we're following something. So it's come in to investigate what's going on. Now look at Mvula chasing him. So you can see the difference between a male leopard and maybe the cubs that would have been very different. The cubs would have gone up into the tree, whereas Mvula has just shown that hyena who's boss and said, you are not going to dominate me. I am much larger than what you are, and so I'm going to chase you away. Wasn't that great? Now the hyena is coming back for round two. Let's see where Mvula goes. It's unfortunately so thick in here that I don't even know if we're gonna be able to keep up, but let's try. Now, like I say, Mvula just had to just display, so all he did was just growl and run a little bit at this hyena, and the hyena got the message very, very quickly. But the hyena is tenacious. It thinks now, maybe, that Mvula has some sort of a carcass here that it's been able to maybe try and steal, given that he's been quite aggressive. So you see it's coming back in to have a look and to see if there's any sign of food here. Now I've lost sight of Mvula. I don't know where he ran to, but I think he ran down further this way. So let's try and see if we can follow. So you see the has got its nose down. There's Mvula there. So you can see Mvula is just directly at the back there. So let me make if you just go a little bit to the left and out. There we go. So you can see Mvula at the back. He's busy watching this hyena sniffing around. And the hyena is looking for any sign of a carcass here. Now it's going to be interesting to see if it starts smelling towards where Mvula is. You can see he's not too phased by all of this. I'm sure he's seen this many, many times in his life. He's had to deal with hyenas for the last 12 years. So he knows full well that this hyena is nothing really too serious. And if the hyena really does get too much, he'll find a tree and just go up into the tree and sit and wait it out. Now the hyena itself is not actually after this leopard. It's just checking around to see if there's any sign of food. So what it's doing is it's come into this area now look at how he just disappears in the grass there. Isn't that incredible? So we were talking earlier about how this is a great place for them to hunt and you can see why. Once he lies down like that, he's almost invisible. And like I was saying, Nahina is not here to really chase Mvula or to hurt him. It's here because it thinks that there might be a carcass that it can possibly rob from this leopard. So that's why it's sniffing around and why it's not actually going after Mvula himself and chasing him. He's just let that hyena have it out of a dominance display and he's trying to show that he's a big dominant male and that he can be able to scare that hyena off just with his size and his bulk. Now, I don't know where the hyena went. I think the hyena has gone behind us. But I think Mvula has decided this is where he is going to settle for. So Crystal says that this hyena was Bella, the son of a matriarch. Well, Crystal, it's nice to know. It's slowly but surely learning all of these hyenas. It's quite a lot to take on, and hyenas are quite difficult to identify. I find them a little bit harder, but... But isn't that incredible camouflage? So, so difficult to see this. If you were driving along and you weren't paying attention, you would drive past this leopard without even knowing. He's really down in the grass and at the moment he's sitting quite upright and quite alert. But you can imagine if he puts his head down how he's going to be almost impossible to see him. But maybe he can still see that hyena. I can't see any sign of the hyena but maybe he can. The way that he's looking seems to suggest that he has seen something. But that is the one of the most spectacular images now. We've got this light that has just broken through the clouds that is illuminating this grass and this big male leopard just standing in it is something unbelievably beautiful. And that is about as close as you're ever going to get to a big male 
leopard. He's now just walking just in front of the car. I think he's watching that hyena to see if maybe the hyena has found some sort of food item because I have seen it with male leopards where a hyena grabs some sort of food and they'll then come in and actually chase that hyena off and grab it and then up into a tree. So I think that's what he's busy looking for. You can see he's sniffing around here trying to see. He's been looking up into this big jackalberry that we have and has been trying to see if there's been any sign of food there.